With the 2022 Fiat Toro redesign, the favorite pickup in the Brazilian market has corrected some flaws, such as the naturally aspirated flexible engine. While maintaining the 1.8 in the entry version, in another version the Stellantis 1.3 Turbo made its debut, producing up to 185 horsepower and 27.5 kgfm of torque. At the same time, Fiat retains the Toro with a 2.0 turbodiesel engine, 9-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive available throughout the range. Even less powerful, it has more torque and some quirks that still justify its maintenance. And here we test the latest version of the Toro Volcano 2.0 turbodiesel which can one visually, the Toro Volcano 1.3 turbo and 2.0 turbodiesel are identical. Even the most observant will enter the game of 7 mistakes, which is how much work it takes to spot the only glaring difference in Volcano 2.0, the bucket lid icon. Next to the version name on the right, the 4x4 diesel logo indicates that there is a different mechanical assembly there. Otherwise, bring home the same look with the flexible version. In other words, talk about the new grille with horizontal threads and the full Fiat logo, sharper LED headlights, new LED daytime running lights that now also include chrome ruler arrows connecting the headlights and hood, which receive a concave section in the middle. Parts in an attempt to give the pickup a sturdier face, in addition the fog lights are also LED. Speaking of gearboxes, the Toro diesel always starts in second gear, as first gear is very short and serves as a reduced gear the same system used for example on the VW Amarok, unique among midsize pickups that don't have a dedicated box. To reduce 4x4 traction. With all-wheel drive, the Toro Volcano 2.0 comes standard with automatic modes, which distribute power between the axles on demand, 4WD, which locks traction with an equal distribution between both axles, and low 4WD, gear scale using first gear. When 4WD low is activated, traction and stability control are disabled, while the ABS brakes activate an off-road mode, where it takes longer to act precisely to sink the wheel into the ground to find solid ground before dodging a block. This helps on off-road routes and steeper descents, for example helping to brake on sand or dirt. When driving, the Toro Volcano diesel retains its pliable qualities, a well-calibrated suspension for comfort without being soft, and light steering are part of the package, which reinforces its resemblance to an SUV. But what's really cool is that it can take corners safely on the Toro and doesn't hold back, unlike a mid-range pickup, which deserves more attention on the more winding parts. The point for independent suspension of the Fiat pickup and its monoblock base. Passing through holes and trenches is also easy. The front seats also contribute to onboard comfort, which welcomes passengers well. The hitch is at the rear, which has a low back and very close to 90 degrees angle, and can only accommodate a maximum of 1.80 meters in size. If you go any further, your knees will hit the front seat and the taller person sitting by the window will lean their head against the back door pillar. Just remember that it is in a pickup truck because of its 4.91 meters length and low steering angle. This means having to be more careful in the garage, especially if the garage is narrower, which requires more maneuvering. The practicality of the bucket continues with the lid which is divided into two parts and with the side opening, which is lightweight and has very easy operation. What's new is the side light on the right side of the bucket, which helps illuminate all the items stored in the back. And over the flex, the advantage is that the diesel can carry up to 1000 kg in the bucket, 330 kg more than the Toro Flex. On the equipment list, the Toro Volcano 2.0 Turbodiesel shares the same package as the Flex. To this add 7 airbags, 18-inch wheels, stability and traction control, automatic headlights, lock-in place for access and departure, which can be done remotely, driver's seat with electric adjustment, electric mirrors with automatic folding, front parking sensors, leather seats and full LED headlights. Toro also features Fiat Connect Me, with concierge service, maintenance alerts, emergency calls, theft and theft recovery, and more. The novelty is a connected service package that adds control of information from retrieval via smartphone, smartwatch, or virtual assistant Alexa, Amazon. There is Wi-Fi internet on board, but for an amount that is charged separately thanks to the TIM chip that comes with the car.